Hi there, I wanted to give you a quick tour and demo of a new feature in Microsoft Stream, which gives you the ability to record your screen. All you need is your browser running either Edge or Google Chrome. Okay, so let's get started by going to the Microsoft Stream window. Now, what I wanna do if I cut to my other camera here, I have my laptop screen, I'm gonna record my full laptop screen with just um, a OneDrive demo. We're gonna just show how to share a file real quickly. And over on my other screen, I've got the Microsoft Stream website logged in. Um, that's gonna be where I control recording my screen. In Microsoft Stream, it's as easy as logging in and clicking Create up at the top here. Then we're gonna click Record Screen at the bottom of that list. Once this comes up, I can select my camera, my microphone, and then I can click Record to start recording a section of my screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and click my camera. I've got all of my cameras listed here, so I can select the one that's built into my laptop here, or I can even select the uh, mirrorless camera that I have connected via an Elgato cam link. Likewise, I can click any of my microphones. If I've got an external microphone connected here, I can click on that, select that microphone, and then I click Start Recording. What comes up here is a window from Microsoft Edge that allows me to select one of my entire screens or narrow it down to an application window or even record just what's in a tab within um, my Microsoft Edge browser. I wanna record my entire laptop screen. So you'll see that I'm gonna select my screen right there. And then what came up on my screen is this. There's a little window here that shows my webcam um, input. So that came up on my screen. I'm gonna put that over on my laptop screen. I'm gonna put it in the lower corner right there. And I can even resize it however big or small that I want it to be. I can make that real small in the corner or make it you know, about you know a little bit bigger like that. Select that screen number two, and then I'm gonna hit share. Now I get a three second countdown, and then now it has started recording. Anything that I say through this microphone into this webcam that I've selected, and what's on my screen will show up on that side. So um, to give you a look at that, this is my screen, this is the layout that people are seeing, where they can see my face in the lower corner, and they can see my laptop screen right there. So I'm just gonna go through that quick little demo here real quick. We're gonna open up OneDrive and we're gonna select one of these files and we're gonna share it. So we click on that, copy a link right here. And then we're gonna go ahead and copy that link. Well, I wanna skip forward a little bit and show um, just pasting it into Microsoft Teams, but I don't wanna have to show like navigating around to get to my Teams client. So back over here on the stream website, I can now click pause and I can do live editing by just pausing and starting the recording back and forth. So the way that I do that is I pause that recording, and then now over on the other uh, screen, I can go over here, I can open up Microsoft Teams, wait for that to load up here, and then I can even move this over to the other side, move my webcam over, get everything all lined up and ready to go. Then back over on the stream uh, website, I can just hit the record button again, it will pick up at the 51 second mark and continue on. So we're gonna go ahead and hit start recording, get a three second countdown again. And then now over here I can say, okay, now I'm in Teams. I can just paste this link in right here and go ahead and send that. Back over on stream, I've done recording. It's been about a minute. I can just hit that pause. Think through, you know, am I truly done? Is there anything else that I wanted to show before I move on to the next step and I can't go back to record anymore? I'm happy with this. I think it's a good link that shows everything that I want to show the, the end user. So I'm going to click Next on the Stream website. So I click Next right here, and this shows me the video in its entirety. It's a minute and four seconds. If I play it back, you can see what it looks like for the person. And we're going to fast forward here to that 51 second mark. You remember I hit pause, and then I started recording again after I moved it to the other side. So here in two seconds, you're gonna see it flip to the other side and I'll just magically be in the Teams application. So I paused the recording, I went and rearranged it, I did live editing by pausing and restarting that recording. So there's that, it goes through, I pasted that link in, I'm done with my video. So now I'm gonna click Upload to Stream down here in the bottom corner. And then now I can give it a name, how to share a file from OneDrive to Teams. 
And then um, I'm going to add a description, hashtag Microsoft Teams. You can add hashtags here to, um, to kind of make topics so that people can find things easier. It's recorded in English, of course. And then um, I wanna allow everybody in my company to view this video. So I leave that box checked. I could uncheck it and give it to specific groups or put it in specific channels if I want to. I'm just gonna leave it to the entire company. And this is processing right now. It's done uploading, but it's just gonna process here in the background. And I'll go ahead and publish that video. Once it's published, I can go directly to the video details and I can add a thumbnail, do stuff like that. Or I can go to the video right here and just view the video in a stream web page. I'm going to update the video details by clicking on this and it will load up the, uh, the details here so I can add this to another channel. I could add it to another group if I want to. I can select a different thumbnail or upload a thumbnail, add to my description. And whenever I'm done, I'm gonna hit apply. And then that video is already done processing. It's already on stream, available to everybody in my company. And uh, that's what it looks like right there. So you can see it's got really good quality uh, webcam footage there in the back because I selected my better webcam, my external microphone. And uh, it's just everything that's on my laptop screen is captured, mixed together for me, and uh, directly posted to Microsoft Stream. So that's how easy it is with Edge or with Google Chrome. You can uh, go and record your screen now in Microsoft Stream without any extra software, capture the best webcam, the best microphone that you have access to, all in a few easy steps directly onto the, uh, the stream website.